In this video, I'm going to show you how Elementor integrates seamlessly with advanced custom fields, giving you limitless possibilities for adding extra information to your WordPress content by creating custom fields. Our goal today is to create a movie review site. We'll do that using custom fields like release date, genre, rating, and runtime. Of course, if you were really creating a movie review site, you'd probably go with a lot more, but we'll demonstrate the power of Elementor and advanced custom fields using just these four, and you'll get a great idea of how it works. So I have a plain vanilla, brand new WordPress site with the following plugins installed. Advanced custom fields, of course, and custom post type UI to allow us to create the custom post type. We went with the classic editor, as well as Elementor and Elementor Pro, and then two additional plugins, Universal Star Rating that gives us the ability to just throw in some stars there, and finally, Hide Featured Image that just allows us to hide the featured image on a post. It's just to get that out of the way so we can do the demo. All right, so let's dive in by creating the custom post type. It's really simple, CPT UI, and we'll create the movie custom post type. It's that simple. You've probably worked with this plugin before. All right, now under custom fields, we're going to create a new field group called movies. And we'll click add a field. Movie genre. Hit tab and it fills in the machine name for us. And if you've used advanced custom fields at all, you already know that there are a lot of different field types. Text, text area, number, range, email, password, image, file, WYSIWYG editor, O embed, select, checkbox, radio button, button group, true or false, relational links, post object, and of course, some jQuery options, Google Map, Date Picker, etc., etc., and it goes on. Well, because this is an Elementor demo and not a, an advanced custom fields demo, we're going to keep these fields fairly simple because Elementor can work with all of them. So in this case, we'll go ahead and use a checkbox. Select one or more genres for this movie. That's a good instruction, and then the choices are pretty simple. Action, adventure, comedy, crime, documentary, drama, romance, romantic comedy, and science fiction. Of course, there are more genres than that. And you can add them in if you'd like. We'll leave it at vertical. And we're going to leave all of these options pretty much the standard for all of these. I'm going to click Add Field. And let's go with Release Date. This, of course, will be a date picker. And we'll change it to the more human-friendly date type. All right, let's add another field. We'll call this movie runtime. And we'll leave it a text format, one hour and 38 min. That's how IMDB does it. And we'll add another field. And we'll create a rating field. Now this one is for how the movie is rated. And for this one, let's just go with a radio button. And here in the United States, we have GPG, PG-13, R, and NC-17. Head up to the top and click Publish. All right, the last thing we need to do here before we're finished is to change the post type if equal to movies. That's going to add all of our custom fields to the movie content type. I click Update. All right, I'm going to click on Movies, and I'm going to add new. The greatest movie ever made, The Princess Bride. We need to add some content so we can effectively edit our template. This is the greatest movie of all time. Feel free to use your own movie as you do this. And then my rating. And I'm going to use that five-star plugin that I installed. It's pretty simple. All right. Since we attached our custom fields, well, they're all here. So it's an adventure, comedy, and romantic comedy kind of movie. The release date, well, I happen to know it was 1987, October 9th. Now, I could have typed that in as well, of course. 
The runtime for this movie happens to be 1 hour and 38 minutes, and it was rated PG. I'm going to hide the featured image just because it's easier to work with this way, and I'm going to set that featured image. I've already uploaded my Princess Bride poster. It's a large image at 1200 by 1800, and we'll fix that in Elementor. Click Set Featured Image and Publish. So if we take a look at this, it's pretty boring. <laughs> we don't even see our custom fields, of course, and that's pretty standard. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some lore, some text here just to fill this out a little bit. There we go. All right. So now we get to the good stuff. Go to Elementor, and you'll see Add a New Template. Now, of course, if you've been using Elementor before, you've got other templates, but this is a brand new install. So I'm going to select Single here because we're working on a single post type. And the post type of Movies, Elementor recognizes all of our custom post types, and we're going to call this Movies. Click Create Template. And now this is where the magic happens. We can, of course, select a page template. And if you've been working with Elementor for very long, you know how great these templates are. But we're going to build a fairly simple template here. So I'm going to just click on Blocks, and I'm going to filter by Features, because there's one here that I think will make our movie stand out, and it's this one here. We'll put the featured image on the left and our four custom fields on the right. Of course, you can add more blocks just by clicking and dragging. It's not the purpose of this tutorial. We want to talk about advanced custom fields. I'm going to click Insert. I'm going to right-click on this picture. This is contextual. Edit the widget, duplicate, copy. You have all of those functions. I'm going to edit the widget here. And I'm going to click this dynamic link and select Featured Image. That's going to immediately bring the featured image from our one and only movie into the editor so we can see what that looks like. I'm going to change this to a custom size and make it about 500 pixels high because we only have four fields over here that we want to list. And that'll make it look a little bit better. While we're at it, let's go ahead and get rid of this padding at the top. I'm going to click on the entire box, click Advanced, and I'm just going to change that to about 20 pixels. It brings that up nicely. All right, so we've got our featured image being brought in. Well, let's talk about the real magic here. I'm just going to delete this our gallery. And I'm going to edit this movie information. Of course, that's a little bit big. <laughs> we'll fix that right now. Clicking on Style. Clicking on Typography. And let's change that font down to a much more manageable 30 pixels. That's a bit better. And now let's switch out these three and add all of four of our custom fields. I'm going to click on the pencil for design. Of course, I could have right-clicked again and just clicked Edit Widget. Let's get rid of the word design, and let's put in Release Date. We'll get rid of this text here. Click on the dynamic icon, scrolling all the way down, and here's where the magic happens. Select ACF field, and then click on the little wrench to select the actual field. It's going to go out and grab it from our one content item and insert it for us. All right, I'm going to change out that pencil. Just put a calendar here. Let's go ahead and make that text just a little bit darker. Clicking on content and the color here. I love how easy it is in Elementor to make all of this kind of thing work. And let's maybe just take that padding out of the top just a little bit. I think 10 is perfect. All right, so now that we've got this one really the way we like it, instead of editing these and messing around with all of the font settings and the colors, it's just as easy to right-click and say Duplicate. So I'm going to right-click this one and delete, and right-click this one and delete, and right-click this one and duplicate, and duplicate. So here's our four custom fields. Now it's just a matter of updating them. The next one is Movie Genre. 
Let's change that calendar icon to a movie icon. And let's go ahead and select our custom field of movie genre. And you'll see that it automatically brings them in and applies the font changes and styles that we already had in the first box. This is so incredibly simple. Let's change out release date and let's do the rating field. Once again, click the gear, choose rating. And let's change the icon out and let's maybe use a, a check mark. There we go. The last one. Let's change out release date and add our runtime. Click the wrench and select runtime. And let's change out that and get the clock. Lastly, of course, we need our actual review. And this is where the drag and drop widgets come in. I can just switch back to my widgets and grab the post content and drag it in just like that. And there it is. Of course, Elementor gives you far more options when it comes to adding elements to your page. If I click there, you can see all of the other elements that I can add to this page. Let's say I wanted to add a video from YouTube. If I'd had a video field as a custom field, of course, I could have clicked dynamic, grabbed the advanced custom field from here, and it would have inserted the YouTube video from the Princess Bride. I mean, it just is so simple to add all of these incredible elements using Elementor and advanced custom fields. Well, there's one last thing we need to add, of course, and that's the post title. Once again, just click and drag and drop either in here, or I can just add another row, grab my post title here. We'll just delete that one from there. And there we are. Princess Bride. I don't really like blue. Let's fix that. And there we are. Of course, you can save a draft, and I encourage you to save draft. If you're building a large template, you should probably save your draft early and save it often. And you can always save it as a template that you can reuse in different places. I'm going to just click Publish. Include Movies All. That's the right condition. And I want to click Publish. And there we have it. Now let's take a look at our movie. And doesn't that look so much better? So to wrap this up, using Elementor with advanced custom fields is really simple. Elementor supports advanced custom fields version 5 and up. And as you've seen in this video, adding your custom fields to your Elementor layout is just a few clicks away.